So here we are at the final video. We're going to give you a few more ideas on how you can easily answer the hard questions you don't actually want to answer. There are so many of those questions uh, and each of them will be different depending on, on where you're working. When we deal with the Q&A on Thursday, you can bring those questions to me. Bring, bring, feel free to bring your, your hardest question and we'll, we'll work through the idea of bridging from where you are to where you want to be um, and give you some excellent ways to trigger the right stuff. Now here we want to talk about, um, I just want to talk about finally the whole thing of performance uh, in answering questions. Uh, we've already talked about you can turn the questions back on them, ask them what it is. You can also, I did a lot of work with a, a senior HR person in a uh, drug company uh, in pharmaceuticals uh, who had a portfolio, uh, he had been rewarded he couldn't go overseas because he had a massive and large family and so they rewarded him over the, over the 20 30 years of service by giving him more portfolios so he had this massive portfolio from corporate reputation and sponsorship through to um, uh, public relations through to HR through to it was just like a all the soft elements of uh, running a pharmaceutical organization and so he was paranoid massively paranoid about um, being asked a question which was outside of his expertise because he had so many different portfolios and it was very difficult to see across them all so one of the things that we did for him was first of all prepare for him that for every presentation he would take the experts with him and secondly prepare for him uh, with him uh, at, as you know it's funny you should ask that last week this happened um, kind of intro that allowed him to then wheel in the experts and bring the expert who had the status and the opportunity to prepare because they had a minute or two. So his his preamble to actually talk about the important things. His bo the bottom line is if you're not the expert, have the expert with you. But the biggest one, the bait and switch, the bait bait and switch uh, is the biggest one and this is something that we'll talk about more uh, bait and switch is a terrible word probably what we really want to do is answer with story in the next set of videos next week we'll start to talk more about video uh, sorry about making your life count and using case story studies and examples we've already begun to do that if you come to my live training presentation mastery we will actually drill this pretty much all day we're going to use ways to answer the unexpected question and ways to use your, make your life stories count the case studies and examples that you have um, acquired through just being you because you are the expert that they wheel in that's why you're presenting feel free to uh, email me with any of your questions any of your concerns any of your issues any of your suggestions uh, and um, I will see you at the live Q&A. Well, I won't see you. I will hear you. You may, you may see me. I will hear you at the live Q&A on Thursday. Feel, for, feel free to send me pre-questions so that I can serve you even better by having some preparation on those issues. Uh, love your work. See you on Thursday.